welcome back now in this lecture we're going to create the view which will have the upload form so that the user can be able to upload their own profile picture so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate one of these views and that is the profile view and i'm going to call this view as profile avatar well, let me just call it profile picture next let's now create that upload form you can scroll down and find this form i'm going to remove one of these form group and then we're going to modify this form so the value let's first add that token field csrf token on the value and then the name will be token or you can call it csrf token so you don't need an id here and then the input type will be hidden next let's remove this label we don't need a label here and then let's add the encode type that is the enc type which will be multi-part form data without that then it will not upload that file and then the method will be post and then the route name we are going to create it later so let's modify this input type the input field so let's add another input and the name of that input will be the type will be a file because you're uploading and then the name of that will be avatar then class we're going to use the class of form control so we want to change this button to upload picture upload avatar or picture you can save let's go to the route file now i'm going to duplicate this route and change the url which will be profile picture then i'm going to create a new method which will map it to this controller so i'm going to call this profile avatar upload and then the name of the route profile avatar so let's create this method on the profile controller so first comment so get the profile upload view get the profile upload view or page then the method this method is get profile upload sorry profile avatar so let's copy if i know we didn't put that properly so let's map it to that the one we have just created that is the great profile avatar and then let's return a view and the view is profile picture
active. So let's add this link that is that route. And that name is profile picture. So the route name, let me see. Yeah, profile avatar. So refresh, let's go to the browser and refresh. So we didn't change the name, that is the button name. So that one will be upload profile picture. Refresh. So if you click on that link, you'll be taken to that view, which has the form, as you can see. So let's add that picture on the sidebar. So you're going to have another sidebar. So I'm going to duplicate this. And we don't need this part. So here we need an image. So the source is will be on the assets folder. No, not on the assets, but on the image directory. And then I'm going to create a folder, another folder called avatar. Like that. And then the name of that column. So our user. That is the column avatar. So it's going to pull from the database. So let's make sure that it's mapping to this folder. So let's go to where we have the file, htdocs laravel public. And I'm going to create a new folder here called avatar. Now let's put this on that folder. So refresh. And as you can see, we have this profile. So we need to do some styling. So this one will be default or basically profile picture. So let's do some styling. Style, we need a width. This one will be 300 px. And then width that is 300 px height will be 250 px. Let's see. Refresh, and as you can see, we have that. So 300 is so large. Let's put 250. Save. Let's see. Refresh. And as you can see, we have at least it look uh, nice. Let's separate these two sidebar with a brick. We are save. Let's see. Refresh. And as you can see, we have two separate. But so you can also put this profile to be at the top. I think it's nice that way. So this one I'm going to move it at the top. Save, let's see, refresh. And as you can see, we have this profile at the top. That is the profile picture. So in the next lecture, we'll finalize on how you, you can be able not to upload and save that to the database.